Yo, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy, Coast Talker. We are here with a new video. I appreciate each and every one of your support. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit that like button and watch the whole video. I appreciate each and every one of you. So, let's hop into the video today. This is about Carson Wentz. Now, if you guys don't know, the Eagles has just named Jalen Hurts as their starting quarterback for next week. And that means Carson Wentz is going to be hitting the bench. Now, we know Carson Wentz might be on his way out of Philly. But the, question, the real question is, where will he go? And you guys know all the analysts and reporters that go against Phillip Rivers. And you know this, might, this is his one-year contract, so he might be out of here or retire after the season. So they, they might bring up the Colts as a prediction. Now this right here is one of the, this is one of, I've never been so really serious in my life until like one of these questions pop up. Is Carson Wentz going to Indianapolis? And this is what I have to say. No. Nobody wants Carson Wentz as a Colt. I do not want him as my quarterback for this team. Now, you guys might go back and say, oh, he was quarterback with Coach Frank. They have good chemistry. They even got Trey Burton, so it could be a nice trio. But you guys have to understand that Trey Burton's on a one-year deal as well, so he's going to be a free agent. And Carson Wentz with Coach Frank was many, many years ago. And he wound up getting hurt that year and wound up being Nick Foles that won him that Super Bowl. So I understand where you guys are going with this. You know, they might bring up that the Colts actually have a great offensive line and he has targets and a good tight end core. So it might be able to work out. So you look at the Philly situation, you see that they don't have a no line. Their wide receiver targets are lackluster. They only have Miles Sanders at running back, really. And their tight end core has disappeared. Even though they still have a few targets, but they disappeared. So you try to put him in a system like Indy with a good offensive line and the decent targets. And, you know, he still wouldn't have a true number one wide receiver. But the fact that T.Y. Hilton might come back or Michael Pittman Jr. is emerging as a star, you're going to see the potential, especially with Zachary Pascoe. And you're going to have Carson Wentz, who's, who's pretty much almost turning into turning into his own, going into prime form, you know, you know, he had that one year where he could have ran for MVP before he got hurt. And you'll see the potential that the Colts have with a good defense and a good offensive line. And you're like, well, this might work. But unfortunately, if it comes up to me and you come down to a decision of who you will want as your quarterback next year, I wouldn't want to draft one, a quarterback, first of all, because we just drafted Jacob Eason. And you see, we didn't use him at all yet. And you have Phillip Rivers, who after this year might say, hey, we did a good run. I want to run back. So he might come back next year and start all over. So that just shows you right there that I will take Phillip Rivers coming back next year over getting Carson Wentz, who is currently injury prone and having one of the worst, se well, the worst season of his career. I understand that he doesn't have an offensive line and a good wide receiver core, but I just will not take an injury prone Carson Wentz and you know a lack of performance over a guy like Phillip Rivers who's on one foot on turf toe and still being able to manage the game and win now our offensive line is a little banged up as well so I can't really you know just be biased about the situation because you know our offensive line hasn't been playing great this year we expect better from this offensive line and Phillip Rivers still finds a way to pull it out and get W's well, you know, not throw any interceptions or make a bad mistake. So I would definitely next year take Phillip Rivers over Carson Wentz. All the rumors about Carson Wentz's Indy, it has to stop. It really does because I don't think any Colts fans will want Carson Wentz as a quarterback. You know, there's many of people in my comment section, video after video, saying how we should draft a QB. So I don't really think nobody will really want Carson Wentz. And Indy. Now, I'm not saying he's a bad quarterback or it can't work out or he can't turn around and become one of the best in the league. I'm just saying he wouldn't fit in Indy. I just wouldn't want him in Indy. I, I just can't see it. So this is where you guys come in handy. Let me know in the comment section, would you want Carson Wentz as a Colt next year? Or what should we do next year for the quarterback situation? Should we draft one? Should we bring Rivers back? Or should we bring a Carson Wentz? But until next time, this is Colts Talk signing out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.